Hello, my name is Chinchi. I hope you're doing well and welcome back to Grounded. This is our Woe Mode No Armor playthrough. And let me just go ahead and fill you in on what I did in between episodes. In the last episode when we left off, we took on our first Black Ox Beetle. And as you can see here, I am taking on some Termites, which has nothing to do with the Black Ox Beetles. But I figured since we have to go ahead and get the Tier 3 Hammer to progress in the story, I would take the time to get the Tier 3 Axe as well. So I decided to take on some of the termites in order to make that happen. And the only reason I'm getting the tier 3 axe is it will allow us to get a couple of more milk molars as well as potentially make the fights against the black ox beetles a little easier because I figured I could take out termites better than I could the black ox beetles. And the termites certainly put up a fight. They were quite a bit tougher than I thought they would be and maybe it's just because I'm using this little, this little dagger. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they are resistant to slashing, so it made it a lot tougher. And I died. Um, this playthrough was so hard, I mean, you make one little mistake and it's basically over. So I decided to switch up the dagger and try out the hammer, the tier 2 hammer. And act it actually went quite a bit better. It seemed to be a bit easier using the hammer over the dagger. But once I killed all the termites that I needed to kill, I crafted the tier 3 axe. I also went ahead and I unlocked the stump lab and grabbed one piece of Sarah's charm. And then I crafted my way up to this toolbox or whatever it is to grab the power droplet. I figured I just wanted to have it just in case I needed it. So I went and beat up some mites in order to unlock Will Fist as well. It's only tier one at the moment, but I had the option if I wanted to get it to tier three to use it, then I can. And then I grabbed all these milk molars, and the only way a sane person would, you break them all and grab them all at once. And here, this black ox beetle fight, it was going fantastic. Everything was as planned. I was blocking everything. But then I don't know exactly what happened, but this little fire ant got involved, which is fine. But then the roly poly aggroed as well and immediately killed me. I don't know why that roly poly got so mad. So I came back and this is just 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 take a look at this. Bop. The the rock. I dodged it but on the way back it killed me. But it's alright. I came back and I got my revenge and the only way I knew how with my new tier 3 axe I beat him up. I then went and got the milk molar in that little puzzle cave with the ball and then took on another black ox beetle which at this point there's they're very dangerous because they can kill you in like one hit but i got pretty good at fighting them i also grabbed that milk molar which allowed me to unlock all of my mutation slots so i now have five out of five mutation slots and this black ox beetle here was the very last black ox beetle i needed in order to grab all of the pieces to craft my tier three hammer. And after I crafted the hammer, I decided I wanted to grab toenails in order to craft the toenail scimitar. Well, that took a really long time because there's only, I think there's only eight toenails on the map and the toenail scimitar costs 10 toenails and the toenails don't respawn until after a whole week has passed in the game. So there was a lot of time I spent just sitting around doing nothing, waiting for the days to pass so I could craft this sword. But I got it done, we crafted the sword, and made my way to our second to last stop on our journey, the Undershed. Okay, Ali, don't think about it. Just keep moving forward. Just move fast. Move fast. That is exactly what we are going to do. I don't want to stop and fight anything there's way too much down here if we get caught up fighting something we're gonna have to fight everything there is a water here though i really i i need some water that tastes really good i can't see him there's there's a black ox beetle right underneath me i just gotta make a run for it i guess oh he saw me oh i think he's stuck Okay, we're fine. Now I gotta make it down there. Oh, that's a lot. Hang on. 
I got one. And the other one is stuck in the ceiling. That's my first mosquito I've killed. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. There's way too much stuff down here. Oh, come on. Okay, well, there goes four. Oh, yo, I cannot get the timing on this. They like slow fall. Not again. Well, I don't know how many. Oh, there's even more. <laughs> Oh, and a mosquito's getting involved. Come on! I think I'm just gonna run. Alright. As soon as I spawn in, I get attacked. Let's get a bandage going. Put our quick shoes on. I'm not running fast. I have to wait for this. Oh, here we go. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, that's so many. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just running. I can hear all the little pitter patter of their feet behind me. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Let me in. just running it's still following me you broke my fast shoes you little punk now, I'm pretty sure there are a bunch of enemies in this room because I do believe I died to them on my normal playthrough so hopefully that doesn't happen this time oh and Infected larva. Not again. Let's just draw some of them out one by one. Where are you going, dude? Oh, not both. That hurt. One's down. And there goes two. Nice. Come on, larva. Oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. Timing was just off. Lucky 
That was silly. I uh, <laughs> might have been uh, a little frustrated. Don't worry, Hoops. I think we got this. I think we got this. But I'm not 100% sure. Honestly, I think the fight's pretty simple. The biggest concern is going to be the explosions. Okay. Oh, oh. Um, know what I just said about the fight being quite simple? That wasn't it. All right, dude, you clobbered me once, but it's not going to happen again. Oh, one hit. Okay. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. All right, dude. Come on. Let me go ahead and mention something that I forgot to mention in the beginning of this episode because I was not recording when I did it. I went and discovered the four leaf clover as well as went on top of the picnic table and rolled the dice to a 20 so that I have Coop the Grass level 2, which is the critical hit chance mutation. I'm not currently wearing it in this fight. Needless to say, I came very unprepared. I just wasn't thinking. Mistakes were made but at the end of the day it's completely fine this isn't about me being a pro game or anything this is just a challenge that i wanted to try and i'm very adamant about playing the game how you want to play the game as long as it doesn't come at the expense of other players in your game but with all that aside do not worry we get there eventually i will eventually remember that i have mutations that i need to change i'm also leaving most of all these fights unedited because i just want you to see everything that i went through everything that i the challenges that i faced and how i overcame them and just how everything went oh okay I should have mastered out Will Fist. I just waited so long for those toenails. I just, I didn't want to, I didn't want to level up Will Fist. No, 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 no. Oh my god. That's cheap, dude. Ow. No. Oh my. The explosion. Oh, that was a three. I wasn't ready. Oh, no, 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 no.
There goes the sticky net. Okay. Come on. Oh, that was so cheap. I haven't adjusted my mutations. Um, I don't need assassin. Definitely put my critical hit chance on. That's about all I can do. <laughs> Just more critical hit. Okay. Spit at me. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Can I just like keep critting you so that you can't ever do anything? I would be fantastic. Come on, crits. Come on, crits. Imagine if I just interrupted that call. Oh, come on. How did you hit me from over there? Oh. I can actually get rid of Natural Explorer. Because I don't need that. And I can put that in a stamina so I can swing more. Uh, but that's about all I can do. Alright, dude. That's not a good start. What was that punch? Okay. No, no, no! Oh, come on! Oh, it's the damn explosions. Round... I don't remember. I've already lost count. Which isn't good, because now I've forgotten it, how many times I've died. Oh, come on, you big old bully. Yeah. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, the third hit. Dang. Maybe I should eat this Black Ox burger. There's no reason to hold on to it, so might as well. No, 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 I have no stamina. Oh, well, you killed the ant. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have lived that without the Black Oxburger. Let's go! I can't believe I got that crit. Interrupted his ad call. That's huge. was a fourth one in there what are you throwing at for not this time buddy What are you stop throwing that stuff, man? I'm so patiently waiting for the explosion. It's gotta be coming, right? See you later, dude. sword almost broke i was getting a little nervous there but we pulled through we did it oh to repair the sword is gonna cost me toenails the sword's practically useless at this moment i have six more days before the toenails respawn that's crazy that's like one of the hardest parts about this challenge is the weapons since i'm not upgrading the weapons i can't just use repair glue i have to use the actual bug parts to repair everything and it makes it a lot more difficult. We have one more storyline challenge left. The Javamatic Defense. And I have absolutely zero materials to build defenses with. So I'm going to have to take quite a bit of time to get those set up. And we did not get through today's episode flawlessly. I wasn't really expecting to. I mostly figured all of our problems would come from the Black Widow. However, it turned out the Mant was quite the struggle. I made quite a few mistakes. But that's alright. I don't know how many deaths happened during that fight. I, um, I kind of don't want to count. <laughs> so I might not count. Because, uh, it hurts. Last episode, I think we ended with 17 deaths, I believe. If I had to guess, after the Javamatic defense, I believe we will have 32 deaths. Which probably sounds like a high number. But we died a lot today. 
and the Java Matic Defense is no joke. Unless you have Lil Fist level 3 and the Power Droplet and some pretty good armor. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But that's where I'm going to call it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can leave a like to let me know. And as always, a playlist in the Discord will be linked in the description below. And I will see you next time.